Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match reaction. West Brom nil, Ugh, Leicester City 3. And what a long afternoon that was. You know, the first 10-15 minutes I thought we played really well. I thought Darnell Furlong played really well um, when he was on the pitch. Um, you know, what a frustrating game. What a frustrating loss. If that doesn't tell the board that we still need players, um, I don't know what will because... You know, we we didn't even have a shot on target, I don't believe. You know, in 90 minutes, we didn't have one shot on target. And, you know, it's not going to get any easier coming up against the likes of Everton and then Chelsea, who have spent, both spent a lot of money, both invested in a lot of talented players. And what did I tell you guys? I knew Jamie Vardy had score. You know, two penalties, a poor one given away by Kyle Bartley. And a poor one given away by Dara O'Shea. And then their first goal, oh my God, the body language from Romain Sawyers was abysmal. There was just no tracking back from him. You know, it was really, really poor to see. Um, and I don't like to slag Romain off, obviously, because he's a homegrown talent. But I'm just going to give my opinion. I, he was not good enough. He was hands down the weakest, poorest player on the pitch today. He just... Look so disinterested, and like I say, no shots on target in a match in a Premier League match is quite bad. And we just need players 100%. We need players, um, we need a striker. You know, we we offered absolutely nothing up front. Um, in defense, we were quite poor, we made a lot of mistakes. You know, the penalties, what we what were given away, their header for the first goal was poor defending, and overall, it was just. You know, a really poor match. I was really optimistic um, before the match started, obviously, with the starting eleven. Um, Kieran Gibbs playing in left wing back and Darnell Furlong in right wing back and three at the back. You know, it, it did look like, you know, West Br at the start, it just looked like that we was going to play well because we did start off really well. We started off really encouraging. We started off the, you know, the better of the two sides, but then Leicester just grew into the game and... I knew Jamie Vardy was going to score. He even celebrated in front of, well, he, he like did a celebration, what he would have normally done if the fans were there. And you just always knew he was going to score. Two goals for him and a goal from their new signing, you know, with a header. You know, we oh, like I say, we just didn't offer nothing up front. Um, we didn't offer really anything in midfield. I thought Pereira was really quiet. Um, I thought Harvey Barnes for them was absolutely superb. Um, Johnston made a couple of good saves and his di distribution was actually pretty good, at, you know, before the second half. I just, I don't know what happened. Second half, I thought the substitutions wasn't that good. You know, we brought off um, Callum Robinson and then replaced him with Hal Robson Carnu, And then, you know, bringing on Edwards and Harper when you need a goal. It just shows how thin the squad is and... We just 100% need a goal scorer in the squad, whether that'll be Troy Deeney, whether that'll be uh, Carl and Grant. We need someone. And, you know, if you actually look at it, we're actually going into the game with the same team what we had in the championship. And, you know, if that's the way we perform, it's going to be a really long season. We need investment. We need some players, 100%. I believe we need another creative midfielder, um, whether that will be Conor Gallagher, you know, a box-to-box -box midfielder. There is talks that Leeds want to sign him permanently, so that one will be hard to get done. Um, you know, getting in someone like Carl and Grant permanently would be a good deal for us. A young, energetic striker who knows where the back of the net is. You know, we just haven't got that in Hal Robson and Carnu and Charlie Austin, but... Really, really frustrated for today's game. And then we move on to a Wednesday night game against Harrogate in the Cup. Um, you know, a good chance for our youngsters to play. But, you know, 100% before the next game, we need a striker in. I know that Ivanovic will be done probably by tomorrow. Um, that's a good signing for us. A good, experienced centre-back who's done a lot. You know, we've been linked to Mandzukic. We just need players in. And I do believe that Ivanovic will be a good signing. He'll boast. He'll bolster the the centre back position. Slaven Bilic has already confirmed that if there's anywhere where Ivanovic will play, it'll be centre back, which is is spot on really for me. I don't think he's got the legs to play 
on either side of in the full back positions but I do believe he'll boast, bolster the defence I believe his experience and his expertise will be invaluable for us this season and those are some of the players that you do need you know we've Brunt and Barry departing who had a lot of experience we need someone like that in the squad 100% we need the need a striker but guys let me know in the comment section what you think we need let me know what players you think we should sign and let me know what you thought of the match but cheers for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video